Jenna Nyford from Eagle Valley Middle. And welcome to EVTV. Producing EVTV remotely has been a challenge, but we're back with two more stories about what is going on in the Eagle Valley community. Today's episode features reporting on how the community is being impacted by COVID-19. One of the big annual events in the spring and in the lives of our seniors is graduation. For insight on how seniors are feeling and how the administration is addressing graduation, we go to Nate, Otto, and Bernie. Senior year is full of milestones that students look forward to since their freshman year. Uh, every senior is like, work so hard until this moment or waiting for, you know, to walk across that stage and then this happened. And, you know, we can't enjoy those last moments of our friends. It just really sucks for all of us. The COVID-19 outbreak has taken all that they've looked forward to away. Uh, definitely in lacrosse season, uh, we're going to be or try to be one of the best teams in the state this year. And I felt like we had the team to do that. And um, it just, I never thought I would it just disappear like that. So I like went shopping for prom dresses and stuff with my friends. And like, we were really excited about that, but. I was excited just to be done and just hang out with the friends for the rest of the time we're together, but things happen and see where it goes. Eagle Valley is doing everything possible to give seniors these experiences they've looked forward to, and they're prioritizing graduation. What the plan is, is to offer virtual graduations on the same dates and times that the original graduations were scheduled. And the backup plan is that we're looking at either a July or maybe even into August date, where if, you know, things return to some measure of normalcy and people are able to gather, we would also try and do a graduation ceremony in live person where students could still walk across the stage, get their diploma, have all their friends and family cheer for them and be with their classmates. However, the senior class has mixed opinions about the virtual graduation. It's not, it's not a bad idea, you know, or, you know, we're not going without a ceremony, we're doing it online, but it's just not the same. It's not the same experience that we're getting when we walk across that stage, you know? Honestly, rather not have a graduation than have like an online virtual graduation. I just feel like that would be more depressing. Just, yeah, it would just kind of remind me that we're not having a real graduation. So I'd rather just get my diploma at that point. As the school moves forward with plans for the end of the year, Updates are being posted on the Eagle Valley High School website under graduation updates. There's already information about caps and gowns, speeches, and diplomas. The community is also supporting our seniors. Project Graduation and Stuco are purchasing yard signs created by Gypsum resident Brittany Hill to recognize each senior. Although the COVID-19 has changed the seniors' final year of high school, the community is doing their best to celebrate seniors and seniors have bright futures to look forward to. While we're social distancing and taking in all the challenges that come with it, it is especially important to prioritize your mental health. We go to Kim and Sam for insight and tips on improving your mental health during quarantine. This is the sixth week that Eagle Valley has been closed because of quarantine, and students have had to adjust to life without sports, activities, classrooms, and hanging out with friends. A lot of people don't like change. You know, we have our set routines and we have all these um, things that we are so used to doing every single day. So when those things are stopped, I mean, it's really hard to just stop what you've usually been doing stuff, those, those stuff that you're just so good at or just, you know, you've kind of gotten the hang of. I think there's kind of an, an array of responses. Um, I think some people, like particularly people who are extroverted and um you know, get their energy from being around groups of people who kind of recharge their batteries by being very social in larger groups. I think this is probably very challenging for them because finding that outlet for for social interaction amongst larger groups is is hard. When it comes to social distancing, um, I embrace my heart that we have to do this, but it's it's necessary to stop the spread, of course. But it does come with some very uh, dire complications to our mental health. Social distancing is impacting the mental health of teens. If they, if a lot of our youth don't have the right coping skills, you know, don't have the ability to do what they love, uh, uh, anxiety, um, they're feeling more angry, they're feeling more sad. Physical exercise can help students improve their mental health. 
your physical health and your mental health are going to be better when you're exercising. Um, I think it, it helps brain functioning a lot, like engaging your body. Exercise, it can be anything. You know, you can go and walk your dog for 30 minutes. You can go for a walk yourself. You can go for a, a one mile run or jumping jacks, jump rope, anything that requires you to be moving, gets your heart rate up. There's an endorphin release that also kind of gives you a sense of satisfaction and accomplishment that I think can kind of motivate you through the rest of your day. With exercise, you, your, your body starts to you know, feel better. And when you feel better, you tend to do better. In addition to exercise, there are other activities that can help improve your mental health. There's a lot of different things that we can do to just keep our minds active in a positive way. Reading a new book can keep your mind active while allowing you to learn new things and discover new interests. Drawing is a skill to learn or one to improve upon. It is a creative outlet and a stress reliever to pass time when you're bored. Meditation. Taking half an hour out of your day to meditate is something everyone should try since it clears your head and makes you feel more relaxed. Just playing a musical instrument. Music is another creative outlet you can experiment with. Practicing something can relieve stress and is another form of meditation, while learning a new instrument is an accomplishment that contributes to your growth as a person. Yoga. Yoga is a great way to exercise and stay healthy. Yoga clears your mind and contributes to better sleep. Getting any exercise is beneficial, and yoga is just one example. Eagle County has mental health resources available for anyone in need of support. The Hope Center, there's the National Suicide Prevention Hotline, there's Speak Up, Reach Out. And I think a lot of people feel like, oh, those are only resources to access if I'm at a place where I'm feeling like hurting myself or if I'm having um, suicidal thoughts. And I, particularly at this time, I would caution against that. And I would say, like, these are really good resources to reach out if you just feel like you need someone to talk to. You know, if you or anybody that you know needs those behavioral health uh, services, you can just go to eagovalleybh.org and we have a um, find a therapist. It's, I, it's like you find a therapist that fits you. And right now uh, with telehealth, you know, you can have something like this to talk to a professional. Yes, social distancing is contributing to students' mental health struggles right now but engaging in it will be what enables us to return to our normal lives. Social distancing, that doesn't mean you can't go outside. I encourage everybody to go outside to get fresh air, get some exercise. Um, but also, you know, don't take like 20 of your friends to do it. Have that mentality that this is temporary. There's a lot of people out there that are suffering and um, this is gonna, this too will pass. It's just a matter of time. And it, the more that we can social distance ourselves, the more that we can follow the rules that our governor and our government is providing us, the faster that we can get control of this, stop the spread, and move forward with our lives. That's all we have for you on this episode of EBTV. Stay safe and be socially distant, and remember to be there for each other during this challenging time. This has been Jordan and Jenna for EBTV.